wonder if you could speak to us about your experience of running a gallery since the pandemic started um, and how if people have begun to return since you've reopened, um, you know, some of the things you put in place to make that possible. Um, and how can our arts community help support our local arts businesses and galleries um, during this time? Sure. Um, well, that's the last question. Buy art. I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, just keep buying art. Don't, you know, don't stop. You gotta. You're stuck at home anyway, so you have to have something to look at, right? So, you know, uh, in addition to the whole COVID thing going on, we also have Superior Street reconstruction, and so it's kind of been. And all of my art fairs have been canceled so far this year, so it's been great. Right hit on three different fronts um but in a way i'm kind of glad that you know we're getting the reconstruction and the covid thing hopefully done with in the same summer sure so um as far as foot traffic i mean yeah, it's almost uh, zero um other than i've been staying a lot of appointments with customers um we put a few safeguards in place i mean Basically, you know, we have a 2,000 square foot space, and uh, most of the time it's empty. So, fortunately, we don't have, you know, problems with limiting how many people can enter the venue or anything like that. Um, so, you know, we just put plexiglass um, up at the checkout, uh, like you're seeing everywhere, and just the sign on the door telling people that, um, you know, hey, socially distanced. Very strongly recommend the wearing of a mask, and it's something that I uh, required of well, myself and, and all my employees whenever a, a customer enters the, the gallery. Sure. sure. Okay. Um, how is there any way that you are uh, communicating differently with your art uh, about your art or building relationships with potential clients during a time of social distancing when you know you don't have as much foot traffic coming in? How, what's been working for you with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a really good question. And the first thing I'd like to say is that the most important thing you can possibly do as an artist, or really, I think any business owner, is make sure that you collect the information, like the addresses, the emails of all of your previous customers, and even people that haven't bought but have expressed interest. And that's really, um, you know, one of the main things that has not only helped build our business, but keep us afloat right now because, um, you know, basically what I've been doing is I just sent out mass emails. Um, you know, I've been doing this full time professionally. I mean, the gallery's only been open since 2017, but I've been doing art festivals for a living since 2008. So. At this point, I have about 3,000 people on my email list. So okay. I just had a big sale, basically our best sale ever, which was 20% off, and then offered free shipping in addition to that. But, and I was really surprised. Um, people really came through and, and bought a lot more art than I thought they were going to. And then in the second round of my emails, I, I did um, something that I typically do twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. And that's our display piece clearance sale. So basically all the pieces of artwork that have, you know, little flaws and, or whatever from being transported or um, just minor things wrong with them that we couldn't, you know, ship out to someone in good conscience. And we take those and we mark them down. And there are a lot of people that just wait for that email. And so basically none of those things would have been possible if I hadn't collected customer information. Yeah. Do you, um, do you like contact your customers and some of those contacts on a, a regular basis? Do you have like an emailing campaign or how do you? Yeah, I try to send out uh, um, my newsletter uh, at least once, well, newsletter once a month. Um, and then when I have sales or if I'm going to do an art festival or a show in their city, and I'll send them a little notice about a week before. Um, so those are pretty much, you know, the main ways I've been staying in touch. Okay, cool. 
And then like one other question kind of related to some of um, this is, I mean, like you had a pretty developed um, online gallery mm -hmm. for website sales, I think before mm -hmm. the you know pandemic started. Um, and have you felt like that's been helpful during this time period? And if so, I mean, what would you say are the most useful platforms that you found to like get your work out there, both just making people aware of it, but then also generating, you know, sales? Sure. Uh, so a couple of years ago, I signed up for a new web hosting service. Um, and this isn't, I mean, I, I don't really gain anything from this, so this isn't like a, a, a plug or anything for it, but it is what I've been using. And the host is called Kirk Storefronts. Um, I believe they're based out of Austin, Texas. Could you and, say that one more time? It was kind of uh, a little... Yeah. Yep, so it's Art Storefronts. Oh, Art Storefronts. Okay. Yeah, so if you Google that, I'm sure they'll pop right up. And they're basically a platform that's been uh, designed with artists and photographers in mind, people that want to sell their art online. Okay. And it also has some pretty interesting tools, too, that you can use on your mobile device uh, or tablet to help with selling art. And in particular, what has helped me um, are the features um, where basically it's called augmented reality. And you can hold up your tablet or your smartphone while you're on my website. You can pick out the size image you want, the framing you want, um, and then you just click the button, you hold up your phone, and you can see what your artwork is going to look like on your wall to scale. So, mm. you know, basically it doesn't get any easier shopping from home than that. And mm -hmm. so I feel like that helps um, remove some of the barriers to purchase. And if you want to try it out uh, and just toy around with it, you can go onto my website, which is www.ryanfisherphoto.com. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, I can uh, post a link to that in the chat, too. I okay. Think I that anyway, so. Okay, very cool.